Well, we always bring on Stacy Winters every quarter. He is the founder of Omaha Food Lovers to talk all things food and restaurants. Stacy, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Thanks for having me, Jeff Trenton. It's good to be here. Well, uh, I'm uh, I'm already starting to warm up the hunger pangs because every time we get done with this discussion, I have to go out and like. Um, eat 5,000 calories just to satiate uh, everything. This is like the fifth time you've been on here and still no samples. Well, I don't cook. I, well, I cook at home. You don't own the restaurants. I don't yeah. own the restaurants. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It, next time you're going to bring leftovers. I can just see it now. <laughs> <laughs> In a little Tupperware container. Right? <laughs> well, well, Stacy. Um, first of all, just so for people that haven't heard you before, Omaha Food Lovers is a uh, group on Facebook that you started a couple of years ago um, to uh, advocate for Omaha's great culinary scene. What are you up to? Like seventy five thousand members? Seventy five point five thousand now. So yeah, 70... holistically growing, ladies and gentlemen, over to. The- Almost three we're, years. We're still growing. Yeah, it's, it'll be three years in August. So two and a half. Yeah, yeah. We're still growing pretty rapidly. So it's 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 good. It's good. Well, I'm on there every day because uh, I'm uh, I'm always looking for restaurant uh, information. And you know, sometimes people will announce a new restaurant like we like to do on Grow Omaha, and we will announce a few later today. Um, but then a lot of times people will say, "Hey, uh, who has any advice about the best place to get X?" Because uh, my husband, my wife, my best friend wants to try, you know, or is coming into town. Yeah, where can I get a king cake for Mardi Gras or something like that? <laughs> yeah. The, yep. uh, you have the best of the best coming out. Are people still voting? So we are going to – every. we did it last year, and we're starting the polls on Monday, actually. We'll start uh, releasing kind of the best of the OFL polls, and we'll uh, try to run those through the end of March. So be on the lookout. I think we'll probably have – we had like 65 or so last year. I think we'll probably have closer to 80. So we're adding some polls into this. So the polls are nice for, you know, you can go out and search, you know, for the group. And we, we typically do a topic tag, which is, you know, in a Facebook group. So that people can easily find those when they want, you know, the best Reuben, the best pork tenderloin, whatever they're looking for, right? So there's an easy way to find those. But you can see last year's yeah. poll. Like, so if you're looking for somewhere to go tonight or tomorrow, whenever, you can get on there and, and the, on the topic tag, just put in, Best or what do you put Best on? of the OFL. It's also under the featured posts in the group. So we have a great spreadsheet that we assembled that kind of has the top five in every category. And then we did a top 25 favorite restaurants. So it's a great source for a lot of people, especially like people that are moving to the area. We get that. We you know A lot of people are looking for just places to go or, or traveling to the area. We get a lot of people joining the group just for you know research on when they're traveling to Omaha. I got to believe sense. that you and your, your colleagues have – Caused other cities to follow suit. Um, I, yeah, I don't. I don't know so much. I mean, I think every every city has kind of these kind of Facebook groups. Um, I think but not ours, this big. Yeah, not this big. I think um, when we started, you know, I, I was in Kansas City and in Des Moines Facebook groups, and they were, I think, at the time about forty five and thirty nine thousand Des Moines and Kansas City. And now we're we're substantially larger than those groups. So yeah. Well, Omahans love their food. There's That's no true. doubt about it. Very I mean, true. this city, uh, every city loves restaurants, but there's something about this yeah. town where restaurants they are ra- particularly they popular. Rally around their local. Restaurants. Even when we get professional sports, we'll still love our food. Amen. Yeah. That. Um, last time when we had you on the show, Stacy, you were just launching a brand new app. Correct. Um, how's that coming along? It's good. We actually launched kind of our beta version towards the end of uh, January. So we've been running kind of a beta version through the end of March. So if anybody wants to sign up for it, they can get it for free until the end of March. Um, with If you sign up, you go to foodlovers.co. You can get the link to the Google Play Store or the a- Apple App Store. Um, and you can, when you log in, if you put in the promo code of beta, B-E-T-A, you can get it for free until the end of March. Right now we have about 240 locations on the app. Um, in most situations, one use of the app, you know, pays for itself. Um, yeah, so it's, it's doing really, really well. How does it pay for itself? So you get like those 240 different locations offer up whatever deal they want to, to put on theirs. There's no charge to the restaurants to be part of the app. So they list whatever they think was a good deal for them that would draw business into them. And you know, then the, the, the users pay $4.99 um, after April 1st. If you sign up now, you get it for free with a beta promo code. But yeah, so the, the, the businesses, it's a good way for them to get a lot of new new people to come in and check out their restaurant. I've, you know, I've talked to some people that are like, we just go straight to the app and you know, look for places on there. And then, we, you know, I haven't been to the same place twice. You know, I'm like, these are all new places to me that we're checking out. So I think that's, you know, really, really a positive. So, 
And then, Stacy, uh, I think I heard something or saw something about you uh, being a celebrity guest uh, at some at some event recently, uh, or you were involved in something. You, you know, people throw your name around now. No, I, 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 was, <laughs> I do. Uh, I wasn't a celebrity guest. That's I was. Uh, we 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 attended the celebrity chef um, on behalf of the food bank for the Heartland, which was a great event. If you, if you, it was my first time attending. They've been doing it for years. It's their largest fundraiser. Our group this last December raised uh, over one hundred and four thousand dollars for That's the food commendable. bank, commendable. Which was then matched by the uh, Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. That you know, was through Conagra and Bakers and Spreetail. Um, so we r- ended up raising about $208,000, which accounted for 415,000 meals, Jeez. which as a group is pretty cool. We had 1,800 donors out of our group that, that donated money. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, I got invited to go to the, the as, as kind of a thank you, I got invited to go to this event with uh, Chef Richard Blaze, who's from Top Chef fame. He won the Top Chef All-Stars. He's been on several shows on Food Network. He's on... Uh, one of the shows with Gordon Ramsay on Fox. And so, yeah, it was fun. It was a good event. It's amazing because every time I go to a restaurant that's hard to get into, I just use Stacy Winters as my name. <laughs> <laughs> and they're always like, where's Stacy? I'm like, oh, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, Abe Froman, the sausage king yeah, of Chicago. Chicago. Um, Stacy, before the, the show started, uh, you were mentioning you wanted to, you, you said you wanted to mention an event going on at Horseman's Park or coming up at Horseman's Park. Oh, yeah, I just I just know that this city loves, you know, I think there's a lot of people that really miss the Bohemian Cafe. So Me when, included. Whenever there's like an e- event that comes out where they're doing, you know, that type of food, that Czech kind of food, I, you know, it's one, you want to get that word out because people are like, oh, how'd I miss that? So uh, yeah, Horseman's Park today at 11, I guess they're doing their kind of the bohemian lunch that they do with like pork loin, sauerkraut, dumplings, all of that um, is their special today. So yeah, I think it'd be a great time to, to check that out. I've heard they do a really good job on that meal too. So it's, and they, they don't, it's not an every week offering. So when you see it, it's one of those, that I think you need to go check out. Dumplings and crowd today. Uh, <laughs> Remember that jingle? No. At Bohemian <laughs> Cafe. Oh, yes, oh, not you like do. that. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, I, I sing it better than they did. That must predate sure. my time in Omaha. That would. That was, <laughs> uh, in fact, uh, back in the 80s, Roger Olson, I'm sure, remembers it. But back in, in the 80s, during Husker football radio broadcasts on KFAB, they would always make dumplings and crowd today. Are you going to break into the Great Wall commercial that was always at the movie theaters? How does that one go? Center. I don't remember that one. I've been trying to forget it the whole time. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, Stacy, um, one of the favorite things we like to ask you, uh, and what everyone's waiting for, places, restaurants you have tried, you have visited since the last time you were with us. Right. So I think the one that, I mean, several of them, my, my son and I did a little breakfast tour too over like Christmas break holidays. So that was fun. But the, I think most recent, my wife and I, the, just this last week went to, it's called QS Grill Steak. Um, and it's off 168th and Harrison. It's uh, They feature Nicaraguan food and a little bit of El Salvadorian kind of food there too. Um, Southwest corner of 168th and yeah. Harrison, right? Yeah, it's in the it's attached to the gas station there because yep. you know great food is found in gas stations. That's like true. all across the country. I found that there is a true. demising wall, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but they do like crazy. I mean, cheap and good. They do this uh, like you can get steak, chicken, pork with rice and beans, um, either the sweet plantains or the plantain chips, and kind of a, a little salad coleslaw type thing. It was ten dollars and ninety nine cents and. The one thing you also need to add to your meal is the fried cheese. They do a slice of fried cheese, which I didn't realize that was a thing in Nicaragua, but I was talking to the owner. They're very, 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 very nice. And that was uh, that was like something he said as a staple. He said, you go on any street there and you'll you'll find that this meal that you know, we were eating there. And again, reasonable, re- really, really friendly. Um, but yeah, I just I, I, I like that we're getting more of those kind of you know, restaurants, you know, out west because I think you know there's a the stereotype is that there's not that you know kind of that ethnic type food out west, and it's definitely happening. Even on that that particular corner, you have El Alambre right there as well, which is doing you know street tacos and sopes, and you know it's kind of it's the same family you know kind of re- relationship to Taqueria Tijuana if you're familiar in South mm-hmm. O. So very very similar food and some of the best asada you'll have in the city. Restaurant geography or uh, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> the uh, so that's QS. Steak grill, grill steak. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and you're, uh, you're welcome from uh, <laughs> Omaha food lovers. Head. Um, another place that we checked out, and it's been there forever, is Wong's Hunan Garden. 
which is off 108th and uh, Q, kind of right just north of 108th and Q. It's a, you know, I think most people assume it's a, just a Chinese restaurant, but it has a really, really good Korean menu. Um, so they had the bibimbap that was there. Um, we tried that, you know, kind of in the stone bowl. Um, yeah, so they have a, a kind of a really great menu. Um, they also have a drive through which is really cool. You know, so a lot of people, if you're wanting kind of that kind of food, but you don't want to eat it there, they have the drive through there. That was cool. Um, Hip Bao, I don't think I'd been there the last time we talked. They have a new owner. I, I did that lease, and yeah. uh, it's 84th and, and Frederick, Frederick Square yeah. over by Jimmy John's and Shopco Optical. Um, I haven't been to the new Encart. It's uh, really, really good. I, I mean, I, I think – when they were first open, I you know I'd seen very mixed reviews. Yes, um, but I would say we started going there. I think in December or trying it out, and uh, we've been three times I think at this point. But they have steam fried dumplings, which are I get the steam fried dumplings. They're they're really really good. Um, and then my wife is kind of obsessed with all things noodles lately, so that's kind of her you know ramen, you know pho, you know noodle soup, any kind. Um, they have a, a, a beef noodle soup there that I would highly recommend trying. It's Can't wait really, to try it again. Really good. So Hip Bao. It's very, I mean, most of these places, right, QS Grill and Hip Bao, these places are very you know, sparse. There's not like a lot. It's not the, you're not going for the environment or the atmosphere, you know. Like, you know, that's that's the, kind of a secondary thought with these places. But the food is excellent. And in the spirit of old time radio, we're going to leave you in suspense for this next break. Because when we come back from our middle of the show news break, <laughs> Stacy's going to tell us more places that he's tried lately. And then before we let him go, we're going to have him uh, tell us the best places, in his opinion, to get Rubens in Omaha. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.